Today's case is that of a 32-year-old gentleman who presented to their primary care physician with fevers up to about 101 degrees, as well as itching and some abdominal pain. They underwent an evaluation, uh, including cross-sectional imaging, which ultimately showed a large mediastinal mass, as well as intra-abdominal disease, and other or potential areas of organ involvement. Ultimately, they had a biopsy, which confirmed the diagnosis of classical Hodgkin lymphoma. They had some additional evaluation, including lab work, which was generally unremarkable with a relatively normal hemoglobin and other hematologic parameters, and, was and they were diagnosed with classical Hodgkin lymphoma stage 4B. They were initiated on chemotherapy with the ABVD regimen using a PET-adapted approach, and after four treatments or two cycles of ABVD, they had achieved a complete remission with a Deauville score of 1. At that point, their therapy was uh, de-escalated to AVD, and they completed a total of six cycles of therapy. Again, at the end of therapy, they were in complete remission. They were followed at that point and subsequently did present with recurrent symptoms concerning for lymphoma. They had a repeat scan which showed some mediastinal lesions, and a repeat biopsy confirmed the presence of relapse. This is a case that uh, honestly is one that I see quite frequently. Uh, as we saw, this was a case of Hodgkin lymphoma in a young patient uh, presenting with what we consider to be constitutional symptoms like unexplained fevers, sweats, unexplained weight loss. And so there really uh, is a lot to this case that is very commonly encountered in, in, in clinical practice. Fortunately, most patients with classical Hodgkin lymphoma will be cured of their disease after initial therapy. And in this case, despite the fact that this patient presented with advanced stage disease and with some high risk features, including the presence of constitutional symptoms, we would, ex we would still expect that greater than 50% of patients in this situation would be cured. And among those patients who ultimately achieve a, a complete response, that number is probably closer to 75 to 80%. The discussion about prognosis in patients with any type of lymphoma is challenging, and I find that the discussion with my Hodgkin lymphoma patients is, is particularly challenging. This is often because these are patients that are young, many of them have young families or are just starting out on their career, and many of them have been told that Hodgkin's lymphoma is, quote, the good lymphoma to have. Uh, and so I, I spent a lot of time discussing the, the, the pros and cons of this type of a diagnosis. Fortunately, most patients will be cured of their disease with a currently available therapy, but unfortunately, that's not 100%. So I try to be realistic with patients, but also uh, provide some hope and recogn recognition that the majority of the time patients will be cured and that the odds are in their favor.